And as you come back down to the surface, I want you to tell me what is the very first impressions that you have or the very first thing that you see as you come back down to the surface. What do you see down there below you? Sand. Sand? Mm -hmm. What color is it? Brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. Look at the landscape. What do you see around you? Mm, pyramids. Okay. How many do you see? Three. Three. Okay. Are they all the same size or different sizes? Different. Different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it day or night? Day. Day. Mm hmm. How's the temperature? Would you like to look down and tell me, see if you have a body? What do you see? Yes, I'm barefoot. Do the feet look male or female? Female. What color is the skin? Tan. And look at your legs and tell me, what do you see? Thin. Thin. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing anything on your legs? No. And up the torso, what do you see? Are you wearing anything on the rest of your body? Mm, yeah, like a robe. Long or short, what do you see? Mm, kind of short, not too many. All right, tell me about your hair. How do your hair look like? Black. Long, short? Mm, medium. Are they straight, wavy, curly? Mm, straight. So let's have a look at your face and tell me, do you look young, old? About 20s. Okay. And um, do you have any accessory on you? No. Are you carrying anything? No. All right. Very good so far. So I want you to look around you and tell me if there is anyone there with you. I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. So you are alone? Yes. All right. And um, as you're connecting to this woman that you are now, I want you to tell me, how do you feel being there? Good. Good. You like this place? Yes. So let's see, what is it that you're doing there? I'm not sure. What feeling do you have as you are there now? Like excited. Excited? Mm -hmm. Happy. Mm, okay, okay. Are the pyramids um, close to you or far in the distance? Close. Close, okay. So let's just allow the scene to unfold and just tell me what happens. I'm not sure, I'm just walking around. Mm. Are you moving the direction towards the pyramid or another direction? Toward it. All right. Would you like to speed up? the time a little bit and yes. arrive there okay so now you are there you are in front of the pyramids what is happening there's a door mm. what kind of door is it big what is it made of looks like sand do you feel like you would like to enter yes all right so do that and tell me how do you get in I'm trying to figure out how to get in it opened and what is inside it's just empty it's empty. Mm. So you enter the room. Yes. Mm. How big is the room? It's big. Tell me how does the, the floor look like? Hard. What color is it? Brown. The walls? Have a look at the walls. Kind of rock. Is there anything inside this room that uh, captures your attention? There's a statue. All right. Tell me about the statue. A lion. A lion? Yes. What posture is it in? Sitting. Sitting. Mm. How big is the statue compared to you? Mm, 
about devil. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you're looking at the statue, I want you to go around and all around and tell me if there's anything written on it, if there's any symbol, anything. Yeah, it's got one symbol on it. Would you like to describe it for me, please? Mm, it's like round, almost looks like a fish. Mm -hmm. Anything else? It's gold. Gold? Mm -hmm. mm, where is this gold? The whole statue is gold. The whole statue is gold. It sounds like a beautiful statue. It's pretty. And this symbol that you said, where is it located? On its head. As you're looking at this uh, statue, what more could you tell me about it? It's kind of like a marble base, black and white on the bottom. I don't see anything else. I want you to allow yourself to connect with that statue in, in a deeper level. And I want you to tell me what comes up, if there is anything that you are receiving. I get like a protection. Mm -hmm. Okay, a protection. Mm -hmm. mm, tell me more about that. I don't know, like it's a protector. This lion, this statue is a protector. Yeah. Mm, what does it feel like it's um, protecting? Mm, maybe the space or the pyramid. The space where it is located? Yeah. So there is something there that n needs to be protected? Yeah. What could it be? Does anything come up? Yeah, a crystal. Mm. Where is this crystal? Maybe inside of it. I see. What more can you tell me about this crystal? It's uh, maybe some kind of energy. Mm, mm. So crystals um, are conscious, are living beings. Would you like to connect to that energy and uh, see what you are getting? Yes. Okay, so allow yourself to do that and tell me what, what is it that you are receiving. It's got like a pulsing to it. It's like a, a beat, like a drum. What do you mean? Like a, like a thumping, like a, like a vibration. So it's alive. Yes, powerful. And what is the purpose of this crystal? To protect. What is it protecting? Protecting the space mm -hmm. and, a, and a connection. Why? No, that's what it's supposed to do. From what or whom is this crystal protecting the space? For the land or the people? Can you tell me more about that? I'm not sure. Mm, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, does this crystal have a shape or a color? Could you describe it for me, please? It's pink, kind of diamond shape. It's got a lot of sides on it. All right, very good. So let's close that scene. And I want you to go now to where it is you that live in this life. Where is your home? And now we are where it is you that live in this life. What do you see? Yeah, like a hut. What is it made of? Tree. And what is around? Where is it located? Mm, it's pretty close to the pyramids. How is the landscape around? Very lush. Lots of trees. There's water. Water. Is it uh, like a river, a lake? What is it? Like a lake. I see. And you said you are close to the pyramids? Yes. You see them or you know? You just know? Yeah, I can see them. You see them. I see. So is it like a walking distance? Yes. So let's get into that hut and tell me, are you living alone there or are you sharing it with someone else? Mm, I come by myself. It's a small or a big hut? It's small. Very good. So I want you to tell me, how do you spend your time? What is it that you do the majority of your time? I just cook and clean. But there's a lot of people here. It's a busy place? Yeah. What are people doing? All kinds of things. Carrying things, making things. Tell me, what is your connection with the pyramids? I'm not sure. They're just there. Okay. We will find out more. So, I want you to close that scene. And I want you to move forward to an important day. A day that you consider important because something is happening. What do you see? 
What is happening? I feel like I'm a chief or something. Tell me more about that. Maybe, maybe like a healer. I just feel like um, like they're there to celebrate me and glad I'm there. Are you indoor or outdoor? Outdoor. How does this place look like? Mm, it's nice. It's pretty. It's decorated. It's got flowers. And there are many people, you said? Yes. How many would you guess? Like a hundred. And uh, they are celebrating you? Yes. Mm, what do they do? What is happening? Just like a, like a status, like, a, like an achievement. Do they give you something or what happens? No, it's just more like a celebration, like a party. I see, I see. So you said they are honoring you because you are a healer? Yeah. Mm. Tell me more about it. No, I see like medicines, like, um, like from herbs and plants. So that's how you help people with, um, with herbs? Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, beautiful. And how do you feel? So good. So happy. You feel happy? It's fulfilling? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. If you would, were to guess, how old are you? Like 40. Mm. Okay. Do you have family there? Mm. They all feel like family. Mm. I see. Beautiful. All right. So let's close that scene and let's move forward to another important day. And now you are there. What is happening now? What do you see? Everything still looks the same. In what way? Describe me. What do you, what do you mean? Just older, but everybody's older. Where are you now? I'm still there. In the, the hut. Mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you still helping other people? Yeah, not as much. Not as much. Okay, okay. Just relaxing. Mm -hmm. Are you still alone in the heart or you, you you see anyone there? Anyone else that you're sharing your life with? No, it's just me. Just you. Mm -hmm. I wonder how did you learn what you're doing and helping other people with herbs? Did someone taught you how to do this? That's my mom. Your mom? Mm-hmm. Ah, so she was um, she knew about 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 these things? Yes. Beautiful. All right, let's close that scene and let's move forward to another important day. And now you are there. What is happening now? I don't see anything else. That's okay. Did anything else come up? Mm -mm. Okay. So I would like to ask you if I have permission to connect to your higher self. Yes. All right. Thank you. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. So Carrie just saw a life... Uh, of, uh, of a healer in uh, what seemed to be Egypt. Why did you show her this life? There's a long history of healing. And why was it important uh, for her to, to remember this life? So she can heal in this life and use those same tools. So she's a healer? Yes. She carries this uh, knowledge and these gifts inside of her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was she aware of that in this life so far? Yes. So you wanted to motivate her, to remind her? Yes. Is there anything more you would like to say to her about that? Just that we are here to help her and guide her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So you said that she could um, help other people with the same... Um, uh, let's say gifts and knowledge that she had in that life with uh, by using herbs. Yes. So what can she do uh, if she would um, choose to step into this? We'll send her some information to look into that further. 
So I would like to ask you um, about her um, visitation in that pyramid. Um, you saw her in the first uh, scene. We entered the pyramid, one of the three pyramids, and there was this um, gorgeous golden lion there. Why did you show her that? Just to build that connection. Mm, what do you mean? Well, bring them together in a safe, and it's okay to trust the information you receive. Could you explain a little bit more the um, the meaning of the lion in, in all of that? Uh, the lion is your strength and persistence. And what about the crystal that was inside this lion? The crystal's inside her. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's part of her. Can you tell us more about that? She shares that crystal... Uh, with Sammy, the piece of it was in her, and I brought those two together. How does this work? How can the two seemingly separate physical beings uh, share um, a crystal? You mean energetically? Uh, they're, they're both connected. They're both uh, the same. They are both connected, do you mean with each other and with the crystal? Yes. Okay, and that crystal um, is the same crystal that was inside that lion? Yes. Okay, so she is very connected also with that, um, that statue, that lion that was there? Yes. Does that lion, that statue still exist? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. is, is it inside, is it still inside the, the pyramid? Yes. Okay. Has, has it um, been found, discovered by humans? I never heard about, about it. That's why I'm, I'm asking. I'm wondering if it's um, somewhere hidden from humanity or it's, uh, it has been already discovered. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been discovered. I see. So it's probably like a chamber that has not been opened yet. Yes. Mm. I wonder if... Um, if Kari uh, would benefit in any way by connecting uh, to that uh, to that crystal, and if so, how could she do that? She just has to think about it, and she can connect to it now. Would that be appropriate or of any benefit for her? And if so, what? Mm, yes. Would you like to tell her a little bit more about it? Just give her a knowing and that that feeling of strength. Okay. So you said that um, she, she, it's recommended that she would step into her healing abilities. Yes. She was telling me that she already has another job, uh, another kind of job, much more in the, let's say, corporate world. Would that mean that uh, it would be better for her if she would leave this uh, world completely, this kind of, of job that she has been doing all these years and really step fully into healing? or? How could she do that? Uh, she helps a lot of people with that job. With that job, she helps a lot of people. She can continue to help people and do the healing, the healing on animals as well. Um, and in her spare time, and eventually make that full time. I see. So step by step. And uh, you mentioned animals, that she could um, help animals. How could she do that? With what tools? Um, with the healing, healing hands. Okay, so she has this ability too? Yes. Does she know how to use this, this gift? Or would you like to give her any advice? Yes, I'll give her bits and pieces. And she will come into it. I see. Well, she said she's, uh, she feels connected to animals. And uh, I would like to ask if you can tell us a little bit more about this connection that she has with them. Yeah, she's very connected to animals and helping them. And she understands them, right? And she, she connects and easy with them. Yes. How could she connect even deeper, like to open up her telepathic communication with them? Have to meditate and work on it, and then it will come easier. So meditate um, on her own? Yes. Is there a certain um, idea or something she should meditate on? 
What kind of meditation? Uh, just the intention of that connection. Okay, beautiful. So, could you uh, share with um, with us um, the main reason why she is um, she is here at this time on this planet? Her purpose in this life is just to learn unconditional love. Is she on the on a good way, on the right path? Yes, exactly. Is that why she had uh, such a um, she chose to have such a challenging upbringing? Yes. So she has done a lot of work already. Yes. Shifting into unconditional love and forgiveness. Yes. Okay, that's beautiful. Is there any um, anything you would like to share with her regarding the past in this life? Yeah, she's done a great job. Exactly what she needs to do. And has opened her heart to everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, uh, she was asking for um, if she could have any uh, information uh, regarding galactic connections. Is there anything that is appropriate that uh, you she could um, know today? Connected to many. Are there any specific races um, or star systems that you would like to point out for her that she could, I don't know, perhaps re refresh her memory or would be appropriate for her to reconnect in a conscious level? The ladies in Orion are, are the strongest. So she wanted to, to check with, uh, to, with Sami. You mentioned already that they share... They share... Um, this crystal is that right yes okay could you tell her a little bit more about this connection with the with the soul they're just connected they will always be connected and he left um, his body a year ago i would like to ask if if perhaps his soul is um, willing to to communicate with us Yes, she is here. She's here? She, it's a she. She's here. She, okay, she, wonderful. So do we have permission to connect to, to her directly? Yes. Would you like, Kari, to allow her to speak through you? Yes. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so welcome, Sami, and thank you very much for your willingness to communicate with uh, with us today. Are you here? Are you with us? Yes, I miss her so much. She miss you too. She really does, and uh, it's it's very beautiful that um, that you're here. That you're here for her today. I mean, I know you are probably here for her all the time. Everyone. What would you like to say to her today that she can now listen to you and hear you clearly? That I'm here. I'm here every day. I love you and watch you all the time. How are you? Good. I'm happy. You are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's, that's very good to know. Is there anything, any message you have for Kari? I just love her with all my heart. She was very good to me. I had a great life. You did? Yes. So Kari did a good job. She, she took care of you. Yes. Beautiful. And I guess you will guys meet again, right? Yes. I mean, in the physical level, perhaps. Because yes. I guess you are connected uh, like we just... Um, uh, realized you are much, much more connected energetically. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any any advice, any message, any last message for Kari? Anything you want to share with her? Just do not close your heart for pain, for loss. Just continue to love unconditionally and open your heart for more lives, more pets, more connections. Don't close that off. Okay, beautiful. 
Is there anything else um, you would like to say to her or should we um, let you go? Thank you, Sami. Thank you so much for, for coming here today. Okay, so as we let Sami go, I would like to again ask permission if I may connect again to the life force energy of uh, Carrie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, thank you very much for um, holding space for this communication for, for Carrie and Sami. I think it was uh, very important for both of them. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so Carrie was uh, asking, she would like to activate and clear all her 13 <clears throat> energy centers, all her chakras. Is this something that um, that we can do today? Yes. Okay. So would you like to um, lead us through? Yeah. So would you like to explain or describe to us um, what is the process now? How are you going to be doing this? Just do a body scan. They're all connected and working properly. Okay. Very good. So her... Her request is uh, is complete. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. As you uh, as you scanned her her body, was there anything else that uh, perhaps um, we could look at today? Anything else that uh, needs to be realigned or released? Everything looks good. Okay. Okay. That's great. Emotionally, is there anything that is perhaps suppressed and trapped inside her that perhaps need to be released needed to release a little bit of fear with death but she understands it's it's more than than the physical she understands she's still connected regardless of the physical human body loss okay okay very good how can we activate also all her psychic gifts you can work on that through meditation as well it's the Take some more time, some quiet time. Okay, okay. So then, um, she would like to meet her guides, her angels. Would it be appropriate today that she meets them? Yes. They're here. Archangel Michael's here. So Archangel Michael is, uh, is one of her guides? Yes. Beautiful. Do we need to connect with him and let him speak through? Is there anything he would like to share with her or what is more appropriate? It's connected. Are we connected now with Archangel Michael? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So do you have a message? Um, do you would like, would you like to give any advice or message to Carrie today? So she knows I'm here. She can ask me for anything. And I will help. How can she um, call you? How can she connect uh, with you? She connects all the time. She does? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can continue. And I, I'm there. I see. I see. Um, is it trusting enough, this, uh, this connection that you have? Yes, it is strong. I give her the color blue whenever I'm around. Okay, so this is a sign from you. Yes. Wonderful. Does she have uh, other other beings who are guiding her in this in at this time in her life besides yeah. you? Okay. Yeah. Would you like to um, connect her with them or introduce uh, them to her? There's another angel here, but I can't, I can't understand what her name is. Okay, so let's invite this being. Allow this being to just uh, gently move into your energy field. Let this being just come closer to you. And you gently can make a connection with her. Allow yourself to connect with her in an energetic level. And... Tell me how how does uh, this being appear to you? How does uh, does she look like? She has a pink color. She she has wings. 
kind of like a, a light body though. Like a color body with wings. Different. Beautiful. Would she like to introduce herself? Yes. Okay. So would you like to allow her to speak through you and I just ask her a few questions? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So I would like to welcome you to our space and I would like to thank you for being here for Carrie today. And I would like to ask you um, if there is any name um, that um, you would like uh, to give to Carrie so that she may refer to you. I, I can understand. Mm. Okay, so let I would like to ask you uh, to spell your name letter by letter. Would that be okay? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So you may start. S S A A B B R R E E Sabre 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 Beautiful Thank you so much for that Does that, does it mean something? Does it have a certain uh, meaning that carries? No, she says the name can be whatever you want it to be <laughs> I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What would you like to share with Carrie today? She really wanted to meet you. She's, I guess, very happy to be now connected in this way. She was really looking forward. Is there any message that you have for her? She is um, very quiet. She is the one that nudges me to all the videos and the things that I watch. I see. Mm -hmm. and she's the one that tried to get me to the secret. She said it was very stubborn. <laughs> I see. Okay, so you are walking behind the scenes for all these little things. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Any advice that you have for her or anything you would like to let her know? Uh, just listen more. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> listen to you more? <laughs> mm-hmm. How can she connect to, to you? What is the easiest uh, way? Uh, she can just think of me. Okay. Do you have any specific sign or symbol that perhaps is um, associated with you that could help maybe carry to connect with you? Yeah, the color is the best and that would be pink. She's got color when she meditates, so all she has to do is see, see my color to know I'm there. So that is the, the, the your presence, the, the color. When she is um, when she sees this color, it's 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 you. It's it's your presence. Yes. Beautiful. Is there any other guy that would like to uh, step in? Yes. Okay. So what do you perceive, Carrie? This uh, main guide. Does he appear in any certain um, form or color? Or he's very funny. Mm -hmm. Green is this color. What kind of green? It's like a light pastel green. Beautiful. And would you like to allow him to come closer to you, to connect? Yes. Okay. So as you do that, as you now connect with him, what is happening? He's funny. He has a big personality. Is he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why it makes you say that? Because he's funny, he wears outfits and changes them and mm. he's, he's just funny. Mm. Would you like to ask him uh, his name? Mon Moth. Yeah, M-O-N-M-O-U-T-H, -M Mon Moth. So he's um, with you at this time? Yes. He's, he's the more stronger one. Uh, he can come across a lot stronger. In what way? Than Sabra. Sabra's uh, a little lighter nudging. He's stronger. Mm. He's the one that gets his point across when he needs to. I see, I see. And how does he do that? How does he penetrate uh, Kari's consciousness? <laughs> how is he nudging her? <laughs> um, in dreams, in meditation... He gets a lot more information to me. Wonderful. Does he have a message for you? An advice? 
Um, just to continue on. And uh, does he have perhaps any sign or symbol that associ uh, is associated with? Besides the color green, right? Anything else? Yeah, he gave me a circle. Just a round circle. Okay. What does it represent? He just says I can, when I see it, that's just another thing to know it's him. Okay, great. Wonderful. Is there any other being, any other guide that um, is working with, uh, with her at this time that would like to make themselves uh, known to her? I don't feel any more. Okay, beautiful. So we have this, uh, these are the three predominant ones, I guess, right? Yes. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, deep gratitude for all of them for stepping in and um, uh, introducing themselves. So I would like that we make a quick scan in the in her Akashic records and, and see if there's any um, any past lives that um, need to be revealed at this time. Anything that she needs to know. I not see anything. So then, um, is there any more what we call karma um, that she needs to uh, to overcome, or any any inner shadow work that uh, she could work on? Just continue to work on unconditional love and forgiveness. But it sounds she's like she's doing a lot already, right? Yes, yes, she has healed a lot a lot of things. She was mentioning uh, lives as a fairy or a mermaid. Is there any of, of information available to her? Anything that is important that she needs to know? Yes, she's lived many, many past lives. And she loves the water. She was a mermaid and a fairy. She misses those realms and those beautiful waters. I can imagine they are much more light than, lighter than being a human, right? Yes. Absolutely. So I guess that's, uh, is that, is that perhaps one of the reasons why she is um, deeply connected with animals? Because they are in kind of the same dimension. Does it make sense? Yes, absolutely. I see. All right. So I would like to go back a little bit to, um, to the crystals. We already revealed the information that um, they share one crystal with her soulmate, Sami. And this is something I personally didn't understand. So would it be possible, if it's appropriate, to just explain us how does that work? Because she, she also had a question, and then I will, we get, might get into that right after, about um, her connection with crystals in general. So what would you like to share about all this? It's just connected to the life force and the crystals. She's so drawn to them. And why is that? the energy that they give. Is there any particular crystal that uh, she needs to add in her collection? Mm. If I see any more of it or no. Mm. She's, she's pretty in tune with ones that she needs to get. And that connection when she is near them is really strong. What do you mean? She can sense when, when is one is needed to bring it in. She feels them, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when uh, when she contacted me for for this session today, what did you hope that she would receive the most from this session? The connection. She just needed that connection with all her guides in that quiet time. Beautiful. So can, how can she stay connected to that um, part of her uh, in her everyday life, in her day to day life, being that place of 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 trust and of deep knowingness and this wisdom that she has within. She just need to slow down, take some time for herself. So she should take more time for herself, you mean? Yes, yes. And just meditate. And that connection will get stronger and stronger. So is there any last message that you would like to, to say to her before we close this session? We love you and we're here for you. 